protests continue in South Korea due to outrage over Park's connections to a former cult leader's daughter. One million protesters took to Gwanghwanmun Square in central Seoul Saturday, November 12th in the nation's largest candlelit protest since 1987, calling for President Park Win hee to step down. Choi Soon Sil, who is close, who is a close confidant and mentor to President Park, and has who is who has known her since the 70s when her father Choi Tae Min, a shamanesque cult leader, was the mentor of Park's father Chung Hee. The ties and relative and relative historical repetitiveness has brought about a large scale protest against Park Win Hee, calling her to st calling for her to step aside. These protests are the largest since uh, the June 1987 protest that out ousted General Chun Doo Hwan. The protests are largely based around dissatisfaction of the price of rice, which is at 20% of that of dog food, and that the price of rice has dropped to a 21-year low. Another issue that they're very seem to be very angry about is the performance-based salary system in the country which has no objective standard to a worker's performance, and many feel that they have been performing to the rate that they should be earning more, but they're not being compensated for it. These protests seem to be largely ignored by most Western media outlets when it is obvious that this is a large destabilization in the South, that there's a large destabilization in the South, so much that this could mean the end of Park's regime. Were this in any other country, particularly Venezuela or Syria, the media would be all over this. But as it is a nation with an alliance with the West, particularly to U.S. imperialism, the media remains relatively silent. It is interesting to note how Western media talks about a cult in the DPRK, but there is obviously a cult of personality in the South exercising control over the government and interfering in the governmental affairs. It's also interesting to note that we rarely see protests such as this in the North, and the largest protests we've seen are actually calling for the Korean reunification of the peninsula. So it's one of those weird things where we're actually starting to see a lot of protests against Park and, you know, pretty much her right-wing fanatical regime. It's funny how all this is breaking down, and yet again, media, the media main media is ignoring it. It will be interesting to see how Park's government will continue to survive over the next coming months. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.